In a corner of one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of Rome, Trastevere is home to a church called San Benedetto in Piscinula. Because of its size, some may not even know it exists, but inside its walls is a very important piece of the city and the church's history. It's a church that was constructed on the ruins of the Domus Anicoirum. That's why they call it the home of the Anicis. The Anicis were an ancient Roman family which St. Benedict of Nursia was a member of. The story goes, St. Benedict himself lived there during a period of about five to seven years while he was studying to be senator. This small room was the cell where the saint lived. Years later, this church was built over the foundation of his home. That's why this place continues to be one of the most important pilgrimage centers for the Benedictine order. The San Benedetto in Piscinula is not only a part of the church's history, its authentic jewels also make it a part of art history. Take a look at this image of the Virgin of Mercy, for example. Also, the church houses the oldest bell tower in all of Rome, which dates back to the 12th century and has an impressive cosmetesque mosaic floor. It has a very original cosmetesque art. Even with some flaws that give it more value. The columns of the aisles are all looting, with different capitals. Today, the ancient house of St. Benedict is the home of the Heralds of the Gospel Association. It's an international Roman Catholic association which was founded in Brazil by Father Joe Scamaglio Cladias during the 70s. The spirituality of the Heralds is centered around three points, the devotion to the Eucharist, the Virgin and the Pope. The Diocese of Rome entrusted this church a few years ago, linking past present and future history of the church in this small corner of Rome.